<clears throat> Hi, everyone. My name is Nick Cap. I'm in my house talking to you. Uh, what I want to try and do now is to give you a short little 15 minute wrap up of what we did in the lecture yesterday. I'm going to try and do these wrap ups after every lecture that we do. So while I won't necessarily zoom the lecture because we need to come into class and, and do that, uh, you should be able to get the essential information by kind of reading the text and kind of going over these kind of short little wrap ups. So I am going to share my screen. Uh, you see me on the side here. Uh, what I've done is I've gone on to our um, Canvas page. This will get a little bit better over, over time. But basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do modules. And each module is going to correspond to a week that we will be doing. And so if we click on week number one module, you will see that um, uh, you will see that we have uh, the syllabus for uh, biology 215. Uh, I tell you a welcome to biology. I also will give you and I will publish the uh, lecture materials uh, for the class. These will all be pu published. And then I will do a um, short 15 minute wrap up for each one. And so again, we're going to be doing that for uh, this Wednesday as well as this Friday as well. Uh, again, I'm meaning for the class to be a little bit more interactive. And so for that particular um, uh, way, uh, basically, we're going to have to meet, need to be in class. And so, uh, but again, but if you do miss a class, go ahead and text me or, or email me at cap at smccd.edu, and then we could talk about what you need to do. And so, again, let's go first over the syllabus. If we cover the syllabus, again, this is organismal biology. Um, we, it's a combination of, of, of CRNs. 30151 and 41373 and, and one other one. My name is Nick Cap. I have a PhD in molecular and cellular biology from University of Illinois. And I've been teaching now for about 20 years. And uh, you know, I love teaching, I love interacting with, with students, and I love doing research and I love getting students interested in doing research. And so as a component in this class, we will be doing some research. Uh, our lectures will be held Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 11 till 12 uh, p.m., roughly 11.10 at Skyline. Things starts 10, 10 minutes after, after the hour. And we're going to be in room 12, 1, 3, uh, uh, 130, which is in our new environmental sciences building. So it's a, a beautiful building. Um, for the most part, I'm going to have my office hours on Monday after class from 12 until 2, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays from 11 till 12. And then uh, Thursday from five to six, I, I will have a Zoom meeting and you can click on this Zoom meeting and, and look at it here. And so these are all opportunities for you to get a hold of me. And I'll, I'll, I'll announce these uh, in a little bit. Again, my name is Nick Cap, and I am cap at smccd.edu. Kevin Davis, who's teaching it kind of as, as I'm recording it speak, um, he teaches the, the other lab section from nine until 1150. And he is Davis K uh, at smccd.edu. And his office hours are from noon until 1 p.m. in room 7102. And then on Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. And uh, he will be giving uh, a Zoom link for that. Also, um, for this class, so for this class total, you're going to have three hours a week of lecture and six hours a week of lab, three and three, and then um, uh, three, one hour lectures. You are also required to kind of come in at least one hour a week and do other things. So there's there's going to be times when you're going to be having giving lab assignments and you don't have enough time to do them in class. So you need to come in. And so the TBA hours are a way for us to um, actually charge for those hours and to get some book uh, money back so that we can uh, hire somebody to take care of the, the laboratory. If you got into the class, I'm not really going to talk about prerequisites and kind of what you have. Ideally, you should be reading at a college level. You should be able to do math at a college level. Um, biology is a composite science, and, and really, those kind of skills are, are really important. We are going to be using Canvas for all of our materials and kind of interact and stuff like that, and that is at smccd.instructure.com. Um, again, the best way to get a hold of me is cap at smccd.edu. An email is best because, you know, again, it's recorded. And I will try and answer your emails when they come to cap at smccd.edu within 24 hours. The lecture text that we're going to be using is the Campbell 12th edition. Um, again, I know some of you are having some troubles getting a hold of uh, uh, getting on to this one, and um, uh, we're, we're kind of working on that. 
the 11th edition, if you want to get a print copy of the 11th edition or a PDF copy, the 11th edition works just as fine and it's relatively cheap. The laboratory book, which we are going to be using is CASE uh, and um, we will be using the information from those books, but we will be using Google to kind of hand those materials in. In terms of a revision or a makeup policy, there's, there's really kind of no makeups. What I'm trying to do is kind of drop your lowest test because ideally what happens in makeup is you get so excited or uh, so wrapped up in doing your makeup that you leave the materials and then you're constantly trying to keep up. And so um, what I'm gonna be doing is, is you know, for a lot of this is kind of your, your lowest labs will be dropping a couple of your lowest labs will be dropping um, one of your um, uh, validation uh, tenants. So again, attendance is mandatory. You should be coming in here and signing in for, um, for attendance and we will take that. Uh, academic integrity, I'll leave you to kind of read up uh, on that. Uh, there are supporting services that we have, and so go ahead and, and, and read and, and read these. But uh, if you have any questions, just ask me. If you have any questions, ask your counselor. And um, again, try and ask questions before things kind of really get uh, bad. For grading in this class, 60% of the class is going to be on the materials that you do in lecture, and about 40% of the class is going to be on lab materials. And a lot of times in lab materials, if you just come to laboratory, you're going to be okay on that. And so again, um, in, in labs, we're going to have roughly about uh, 40 labs. They're going to be worth roughly about 10 points each. And I will be dropping uh, uh, about five of those uh, labs uh, from you. So again, you want to take as many, you want to do all those as, as you can, but I will drop those. So if you don't come into class and stuff like that, I will be able to drop those. I'm not going to drop more than five, five of those. Uh, we will have three calibration quizzes. There is extra credit that's available on this. This uh, Friday is uh, an extra credit opportunity that will be sent, sending out. Um, We're going to be doing a project for the hours by arrangement. And so again, that's roughly about 15%. Your final exam is 15%. Uh, discussions and attendance, 5%. Um, there's uh, online quizzes, labsters, 5%. And so there's a number of these uh, other materials that we can go and look at. Uh, I, again, uh, you can get above 94% in this class as an A. 89 to 93% is an A minus, uh, B plus is 88 to 85%, uh, B is 84 to 82%. Um, make sure that you kind of get in these areas to get the grade that you want. And then basically I give the class schedule out here. And so in um, uh, week number one, I'm going to introduce kind of who I am, which I just did. Uh, we're gonna have an introduction to biology and we're gonna be covering chapters number one. Next week, I would really like for you to kind of read up on chapters 22, 23, 24, and 25. And we will have a discussion on those and we will do some activities on those. And then the week after that, we will kind of have our calibration quiz and we'll talk a, a little bit um, uh, about, about that and talk a little bit about the history of life. I have also posted uh, the labs that we're doing, so you can know get your labs. So the first week is doing the um, uh, data and graphing experiment. Second week is, is lab number uh, three, the scientific method, and we will go over that. These materials may change every once in a while. For them, you know, they're not going to change real big, but uh, you know, again, it depends on how fast we go or how slow we go go in the class. So make sure that you look at these live materials and not necessarily. Uh, print a copy of this and, and use that that copy. So we've gone over the syllabus, uh, the lecture materials. If you click on the lecture materials, here's the lecture materials. And I'm going to go over the lecture material kind of right now. I'll spend a few minutes going over the lecture um, material. Let me stop share for a second. And uh, I know that I am recording. And let's go back on that. Uh, I will do the slideshow here. And ta-da, ta-da, la la all right, here, here we are. Uh, basically, um, uh, the first page uh, previous is basically, this is the uh, 12th edition of Campbell. Uh, the uh, 11th edition will work just as, as well. And basically, we are uh, it's an organismal biology class. And so we're looking at organisms and we're looking at how those organisms kind of came about and kind of what they are, are doing. And so uh, again, what we tend to see in nature is this kind of common thing and that, you know, form gives us function, function gives us form. And so what we see is, uh, again, especially prey organisms that are in kind of light colored environments tend to be light colored. And prey organisms that are in dark colored uh, environments tend to be a little bit darker colored. And um, there's a number of reasons that we see, uh, see for this. And, and the logic of it is that uh, these prey organisms, um, if they don't survive, they don't produce more offspring. 
And so again, what we tend to see is that this environment can have an influence on kind of who survives. And that's one of the things that we're gonna uh, talk a, a big bar, part about in this class. And we need to have an understanding of that for, for this particular class. Biology is the study of life. It's a scientific field, which is the study of life. And um, basically in this class, what we're going to need to do is what is life? What are the properties of life? And then kind of what is science? And what are the properties of science that we, we go on? Now, uh, I'm not going to kind of go into this in, in big because this is a review, but basically there are seven characteristics of life that you're going to need to know. Life is ordered. Life has evolutionary adaptation. Life has regulation. Life has reproduction. Life has a response to the environment. Life has energy processing and life has growth and development. And so things change over time. And so please go ahead and read the text and kind of get an under, a little bit better understanding of these materials. I will give you an opportunity to kind of um, uh, talk about these materials uh, a little bit on Friday. And so let's uh, go ahead on here. And so your book covers these materials uh, pretty well. And I talked about this a little bit more uh, during lecture. Um, now, when we look at biology, there are kind of five basic ways that we have of kind of looking at biology. And so, you, you know, if you look at the numbers in here, and so these are easy to do multiple choice questions and stuff like that. You may get some of those, or I'll look at those, and or, or I'll ask your opinion on it. But um, basically, when we look at our biology, we're going to look at what is the organization of living things? How do living things exchange information? How do living things deal with and interact and exchange matter and energy? Uh, again, we'll look at those interactions themselves, you know, the, the um, behaviorally and physically organisms interact with one another all the time. And lastly, um, we look at biology through this kind of lens of evolution. And that is allele frequencies change over time and that populations change over time. And, you know, again, when we look at an individual changing over time, that's development. But when we look at populations and how they change over time, that is evolution. And, you know, and, and again, that's very important. And it, it, it has repercussions for even things like the um, Omicron variant that we have there. Again, when we look at life, we can look at how, uh, the different levels of life that we have here. And your book gives roughly about um, uh, 10 different levels of life. But basically, we are going to be possibly looking at, um, uh, you know, basically the, the organ systems, you know, so, sorry, not the organ systems, the organism, organ systems make up the organisms. And so what we have here is we have this hierarchy. And in organism biology, the main thing that we're going to be looking at is organisms, how our organisms um, are related, where they are, uh, how do they relate to their environment and everything else. And so again, number of organisms coming together will give us a population number of populations that inhabit an area and do an activity there are what we call a community. Uh, and again, in, in the area around our school here, we have the Skyline community. We have this kind of uh, coastal chaparral community that we have here. A number of communities together make up of ecosystems. So the coastal system of California is the ecosystem. A number of ecosystems together, together give us the biosphere. And the main biosphere that we have uh, uh, is basically our planet here. And so all the things that happen in our, our planet are what we call the biosphere. And I will leave you to kind of go through these materials and, and read through the text on that if you would, you would like. Uh, the big thing about this uh, uh, class that we're looking at, this philosophy that we're looking at, is we have this idea of, of what we call emergent properties. And emergent properties basically result from the arrangement or interactions of parts within the system. And so, uh, you know, again, you can have a bike of bicycle parts, and it's still a bicycle, right? All the parts are in there, but they're not arranged together. And we tend to see that in life. And so it's been very difficult for us to create life because even though we've taken this reductionist aspect on it and we can know what all the parts of life, and we can give you the seven characteristics of life, we can't make life itself because we don't know what those emergent, you know, how to set up and make those emergent properties that occur from life. And so this is one of those things uh, that in our studying, we're going to be looking at it. And we do kind of two ways, um, really, we're kind of looking at things uh, two, two ways in our biology is that we're looking at the parts. Uh, and then we're going to look at it as what we call systems biology. What happens when we put those parts and kind of let them run? And so one of the reasons why ecology is such a difficult field to look at is basically we're looking at a system that has lots and lots and lots of, of kind of moving parts. Um, 
Another concept that we're looking at in nebology is structure uh, and function. And so a lot of times what we tend to see is the structure that we look at also gives us the function. And so again, if you look in the cover of your lab book, we have a penguin and we have a shark. Uh, these are totally different organisms, but again, swimming through water, we see that they have to function swimming through water. And so they get a lot of the same structures in order to help them um, kind of do that. Uh, again, here's a nice picture of a hummingbird. And then um, uh, again, what we're gonna look at in life, we'll look at the history of life. There's two major um, types to life that we look at, what we call the eukaryotic and the prokaryotic cells. And we'll talk about, and there's some figures on there's a little bit more. We'll kind of go on that and the, the information. Um, we are in this class, we're really gonna look at uh, genetics and, and kind of what genes are. The gene is the basic unit of inheritance that we're gonna be looking at. Development is how these genes interact with one another in order to go from a very simple structure, which would be a fertilized egg, into a more complex structure, which would be a kind of a living, breathing human being. DNA is involved in this. We're not going to get, uh, we'll leave the structure function of DNA um, for our cell and molecular biology class that will be coming up. Uh, but again, we will cover topics like genomics and proteomics, which are basically the sum total of the genes that are in that species. And again, we can have something called the microbiome or microbiomics, which are the uh, sum total of the genes of the microorganisms that are associated with us. Um, so again, what we see is you really need to kind of use your computers, um, not only for kind of word processing, but there's a lot of information that we're gonna be looking at. And then hopefully we'll get a chance to kind of look at that in this um, class. And so uh, again, when we're looking at energy usage of um, life, we have what are called the producers and the consumers. The producers are those organisms that actually use the kind of resonant energy of the system. And in our system, it's mainly the sun. They convert that um, um, resonant energy into chemical bond energy, which then the consumers, which are the rest of us can use. And there's a whole cycle uh, like that. And again, when we look at that cycle, there's a cycle of energy and how energy flows through a system. And we'll talk about that, but there's also, um, how matter kind of flows through the system as well. And we'll take a look at that. We will take a, uh, we won't uh, uh, that much look at kind of, uh, you know, it's important for us to know things like feedback regulation, which I, I want you to kind of look at a little bit. And then uh, what I want to do is to kind of stop there. And, um, you know, we're looking at our environment. And so when we look at things uh, in our ecosystems, we have a, an exchange of energy and we have an exchange of matter. And this uh, materials kind of moves back and forth. And we will talk about that a little bit more in class. Um, this has been my summary, my 15 minute wrap up of kind of what's going on. You need to read chapter number one and kind of be aware of what's going on with chapter number one. We're gonna have some discussions on Friday uh, using a discussion board. And so I will talk a little bit about that and we will um, uh, have that activity on Friday. And we will look at kind of what's going on with that ac activity. Again, for this biology, organismal biology class, it's basically in person. Sorry, you're gonna to have to mask up and come out, um, you know, try and be as safe as you can. We will look out for each other and be as safe as we can, but we need to get some activity in our laboratories and we need to get some activities together and looking at this material. So it's been really fun uh, interacting with you. And um, uh, again, thanks a lot for, uh, for coming. And this has been the end of uh, lecture number one wrap up.